Hello and welcome back. I'm Steph Sabra, joined by Andrew Flash Gordon. What's up? We have gone through a journey of Indiana Jones 1 and Indiana Jones 2, and now we have made it to Indiana Jones 3. It's Indiana Jones and the Last, Last Crusade. Crusade. And it came out in 1989, the same year as Back to the Future Part 2 and Batman 1989, so it was quite a year in 89 in the theaters. Thank God we have Andrew for our movie trivia. <laughs> uh, also, he's cheated because he's not going into this blindly. He's no. seen one scene. I'm really excited because I loved in the first Indiana Jones. And I thought Indiana Jones, the second one, Shorty was an icon, protect mm. at all costs. Yes. And the set design, incredible. But I liked one more than two. But we hear that three is a lot of people's faves too. So I'm excited to see like where this goes on our rankings. Yeah, definitely. Um, but since you are on YouTube, you will see a cut down version of our reaction because we're only allowed to show you a certain amount of picture in picture. But if you want to watch the entire movie with us, no cuts, no interruptions, you can do that one of two ways. You can either become a patron at patreon.com slash jabbykoi or a member on this YouTube channel right here. And if you're already a member or patron, thank you. Shout out to you. We appreciate you. And before we jump in, make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications and vote this up pretty please. And let's see what Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade has in store for us, shall we? There he is. I think so, right? That hat is unmistakable. No, it's not. Oh! I was going to say the hair was Kinda way off. It looks like his doppelganger. It's the cross of Coronado. The Cortez gave it to the River Phoenix. Yeah, he's like, that guy got swag. I want to be him when I grow up. With a whip. Boy, you better run. He stole his cross and his swag. Hilarious. Me. Where's their horsies? Oh. Oh, it always happens. <laughs> I remember in Mask of Zorro that happened too. I'm curious as top speed on the vehicles in 1912. Yeah, that's true. Wonder if there's like a... Whoa, cool shot. Yeah, it's a great shot. Like, not cutting. Oh, reptiles? Oh my god. Ah! Ah! Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Now we see why he hates snakes. But that will cause a phobia for sure. Dude, this kid has no fear. He's like, this belongs in a museum. The whip. That's funny. You got heart, kid, but that belongs to me. This should be in a museum. I give it back. Ah. Out of the box. Whoa. Yeah. This is the man I want to see. Now there were five or six of them. I just All right. came after me. You still got it? Oh, no. I feel like he's in on it. I'm glad to see that. Don't press charges if you give it back. You got witnesses, five or six of them. He respects him. You lost today, kid. It doesn't mean you have to like it. Nah. You've got it. You know how long I've been looking for that? All your life. Your treat. Yes. My treat. Josh! 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 Josh!
each and every one of them in turn. Oh my God. Imagine uh, Indiana Jones with social media. <laughs> hey, yeah, he's got the clout. Venice, Italy. I don't, uh, I, I don't blame you going out that way, Dr. Jones. <laughs> Y'all need to chill. I mean, you've got someone world famous as a teacher. I don't, I, I get it. <laughs> Dr. Jones! I trust your trip down was comfortable, Dr. Jones. Uh, my men didn't alarm you, I hope. Oh, this actor looks so familiar. This might interest you. Necessarily. Where'd this come from? My engineers unearthed it in the mountain region north of Ankara while excavating for copper. Can you translate the inscription? To the canyon of the crescent moon, to the temple where the cup that where the cup that holds the blood of Jesus Christ resides for what? The Holy Grail, Dr. Jones. Oh my goodness. Grail lore is his hobby. He's a teacher of medieval literature, the one the students hope they don't get. Walter, you're neglecting your guests. Long in a moment, dear. Just from that sentence, you can tell there's some kind of friction in their relationship. Let me tell you another bedtime story, Dr. Jones. It doesn't reveal the location of the grail, I'm afraid, but the knight promised that two markers that had been left behind would. Wasn't his father drawing something about a knight? And... Mm -hmm. As you can now see, Dr. Jones, we're about to complete a great quest that began almost 2,000 years ago. The Last Crusade, I get it. Our project leader has vanished. Along with all his research, I want you to pick up the trail where he left off. Why don't you try my father? Do you already? You already have. Yeah. Your father is the man who's disappeared. Uh, I figure that's who he was talking about. He's an academic, a bookworm. He's not a field man. Dad, Dad! Dear God. Oh. What is it? Every clue he followed, every discovery he made, complete record of his search for the Holy Grail. Why would he have sent this to me? Someone was wanted pretty badly. Call Donovan, Marcus. Tell him I'll take that ticket to Venice now. Gotta go get your daddy. Hey, tell me, what's gonna happen when we get to worry. Venice? Dr. Snyder will be there. I don't know if I trust this guy. Yeah. There's just something about him that seems off. I mean, he's coming off as genuine, but sometimes that's always misleading in a he's film. He's like giving champagne to him and being like, yeah, by the way, your father's missing. How will we recognize this Dr. Schneider when we see him? I don't know. Maybe he'll know us. Dr. Jones? Yes. Allison Duty. She was in RR. Dr. Elsa Schneider. How do you do? He was as giddy as a schoolboy. Who, Tiller, the professor? Ah, ha, ha, smooth, Indy. Smooth. When I got back to his table, he'd gone. With all his papers, except for that scrap which I found near his chair. Roman numerals. Here is the library. Wow. Venice is beautiful. Three. Three. Seven. Seven. Ten. Now where's the ten? Below you. That's a close camera shot. Oh. Oh, there it is. Yep. Oh. Oh, wow. Sorry, library. This is for historical purposes. It's like, how hard am I hitting the stamp? <laughs> Bingo. You don't disappoint, Dr. Jones. You're a great deal like your father. Except he's lost and I'm not. Lower me down. Do we trust her? I don't. Uh, I sounded like Kevin Conroy saying that. Look after this for me. I trust Marcus, though. Me too. Marcus is a writer die. Not gonna lie, it's super satisfying watching Indy like solving stuff. Yeah. Oh. Damn. 
something off about her. I agree. Not yet, at least. Yeah. Well, it seems like she's, like, interested, you know? Like, she's about the life. Look. Read it quickly. It's the same as on the Grail tablet. The shield is the second marker. What's that? It's a rubbing. Dad reads the Grail tablet. Whoa. Just like your father. Giddy is a schoolboy. <laughs> Wouldn't it be wonderful if you were here now to see this? <laughs> oh, don't tell me you're gonna kill all the rats. Jeez. Oh my god, poor rats. Oh, I actually feel bad for the rats. They weren't doing anything. Yeah, they were just living in peace. Oh, ew, 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 ew. That's scary. Oh, they're going through the drain. Oh my god. Oh my God. Clutch you, the pearls. Can you imagine eating lunch and then that happens? <laughs> Good thing the keys were in there. Whoa. Okay, this really shows me that they took the note over Willie's character. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, And yeah. went back to, who was the first woman? Uh, Karen Allen. Great. We love Karen Allen. Oh, she was fantastic. Holy grail, did you kill him too? No. That was cool. I thought their boat had been shot up with the gas coming out. Me too. Let me go. I will tell you where he is. Who are you? My name is Kasim. And why were you trying to kill me? The secret of the Grail has been safe for a thousand years. Let me off at this jet. You know, this music by John Williams, obviously this movie came out before. Your father is being held in the castle of Grunwald on the Austrian-German border. I was going to say this movie came out before, but the music clearly inspired a little bit for Jerry Goldsmith and Alan Silvestri for the Mummy films. Across the desert and through the mountain to the canyon of the Crescent Moon. Your father did know. Look, he made a map. Now we know. Yes, now we know. Marcus, get hold of Sala. Tell him to meet you. Sala! I love Sala. My room. Mine too. I like her outfit. I wonder if the guy who sent him on this mission is a Nazi. I mean, he does look like Paul Freeman's character from the first movie, too. Ooh. Sean Connery. Junior? Yes, sir. <clears throat> it is you, Junior. Don't call me that, please. <laughs> Late 14th century Ming Dynasty. Oh, it breaks the heart. Not. <laughs> Dad, get your stuff. We gotta get out of here. Dad, they come in through the doors. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> <laughs> he was actually there. You saw him? He desecrated him. <laughs> oh, shit. Dr. Jones. Yes? yes. <laughs> You have the diary in your pocket. Do you think my son would be that stupid that he would bring my diary all the way back here? You didn't, did you? <laughs> Can we discuss this later? I should have mailed it to the Marx Brothers. Will you take it easy? <laughs> to the Marx Brothers. This place, so it wouldn't fall into their hands. I came here to save you. Oh, yeah? And who's going to come to save you, Junior? I told you. Don't call me Junior. Call me. Ah. <laughs> That's awesome. Indy, please do what he says. And don't listen to her. Enough, she died. I would, I would trust his dad. Girl, boy, she gave you the kitty cat once. I'm sorry. 
Tant pis. Ah, you idiot! You dumb fool! She's a Nazi! But you should have listened to your father. I, uh... Ransacked her own room and I fell for it. Let me guess the guy in the chair is the guy who sent him in the first place? I didn't trust him. Why did you? Because he didn't take my advice. Oh, she, he slept with her too? Don't trust anyone. Donovan. Didn't I warn you not to trust? <sighs> Where are these missing pages? This map. We must have these pages back. You're wasting your breath. He won't tell us. Brody's got friends in every town and village from here to the Sudan. He speaks a dozen languages. With any luck, he's got the grail already. Oh, does anyone here speak? Where's Sala? Dr. Schneider, message from Berlin. You must return immediately. So? Your presence on the platform is requested. God, that symbol is so repulsive. I can't forget how wonderful it was. Thank you. Was rather one. They both slept with her. What? Is it weird I like her character still better than Willie? <laughs> yeah, she is better than Willie. <laughs> this is how we say goodbye in Germany, Dr. Jones. Oh! Jeez. I like the Austrian way better. <laughs> Can you try and reach my left jacket pocket? Oh no. They're flaming the fire. The floor's on fire. You see? That's amazing. <laughs> that was like perfectly timed and choreographed. Oh, really? I think I can get these ropes up. Oh, with a snake thing? Oh, wow. <laughs> oh my god. What great set pieces. Yeah. I find, but if I just sit down and think. Yep. <laughs> the solution presents itself. Nah. Great. Come on. Uh, the locations in this movie are so cool. And like the death traps and things. Yeah, yeah. Come on, Dan. Maybe it's to so, make them think yeah, that they're escaping from the boat. They couldn't see there were no bodies in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's like so unimpressed by his son, I love it. <laughs> I remember in the first movie we got a bunch of Wilhelm screams. Let's see if we get any now. the wrong way. We have to get to Berlin. Brody's this way. My diary's in Berlin. We don't need the diary, Dad. Marcus has the map. There is more in the diary than just the map. All right, Dad. Tell me. Can't you remember? I wrote them down in my diary so that I wouldn't have to remember. <laughs> from me. But all I could do was mourn. Hey, you didn't listen to Dad about Elsa. It's time for Berlin, baby. <laughs> uh, the 
burning of books. A very big sign of freedom being taken away. Oh god, that must have sucked to have to put on that uniform. Yeah. You stood up to be counted with the enemy of everything that the Grail stands for. Who gives a damn what you think? You do! Ew, girl, shut up. All I have to do is scream. Please don't kiss. Ew, I, ew, she's no. Thank she's you. She's a no. Thank you for not kissing her. That would have been like, dude. <laughs> Ah, hide that book. Should have put it away in his pocket right when he got it. The most hideous signature I've ever seen in my life. Ugh. Probably took every restraint not to try to choke his ass out right Seriously, there. Seriously, I would have been all for it. What did you get? I don't know. It's a blip. Oh, yeah, sorry. Not a hard, hot air balloon, a blimp. There you go. I just learned that blips carry people. I thought they were big advertisement balloons. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is what I remember. Yep. <laughs> Mine here. Back. Tickets, please. Boss. <laughs> yes. Bye. And here's the best line of the movie right here. No ticket. <laughs> 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 That's the only scene I've seen before this. That's so good. <laughs> I just remember always laughing. What you taught me was that I was less important to you than me. And I learned it so well that we've hardly spoken for 20 years. You left just when you were becoming interesting. <laughs> <gasps> only in the leap from the lion's head will he prove his worth. I don't know. We'll find out. Isn't that fun, son? Yeah. That was a good therapy session, father to son. Remember in the first film, he uh, rode on a plane like that when he escaped. Mm. Land, go! Harrison Ford in real life is a good, a really good pilot. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Did he get inspired after his role as Han? I mean, possibly, but oh, wow. Dad, use that thing behind you. Yeah, at 11 o'clock! What happens at 11 o'clock? Oh. Well, the time. <laughs> 11 o'clock, fire! Oh, oh my god. Yeah. Uh, his dad's not a fighter. Oh, don't shoot your own plane, no. This guy is a mess. I mean, to be fair, he's not a fighter. More or less. John, I'm sorry. They got us. <gasps> Hang on, Dad. They got us. This guy is so funny. This could be close. No. Oh, wow. Wow. That kind of reminded me a little bit of Return of the Jedi when Lando is flying out of the Death Star when it's burning and then it's blowing up. A mm. little bit, a little bit. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, one of them's going to get into the engine? Yeah, for sure. Oh, shit. Yeah, this is what happens actually a lot. Oh, yeah, and it does happen in real life. That, that is a legitimate thing. Get down! Dad, we're well out of range. Jeez. Can't see anyone up there. Maybe it wasn't even Jones. No, it was him alive. He's here somewhere. 
What Brody? Screw you. For the protectors. Yep. The Wilhelm scream. Those horses. I take the camels. I don't need camels. But indeed. No camels. <laughs> Who is he? A messenger from God. For the unrighteous, the cup of life holds everlasting damnation. Oh, I liked him. Yeah. Jeez, that horse must be having a heart attack. He's gonna jump. Wow. Oh my god, what a stunt. It's awesome. That is so dangerous. Oh what kind of gun is that? Jeez. I that was crazy. Oh no. That's what you get for being a Nazi. Amen. Uh oh. Ooh. Look at all penning. Whoa! Ooh! Yeah! Good job, Thank Marcus. you, Marcus. Ricochet! Ow! Goodbye! Good night! <laughs> yeah, it's your time to say goodbye. Oh, Lordy. Later. I just wasn't ready, Marcus. Five minutes would have been enough. <laughs> Marcus is so funny. He's just so out of his element, but I love it. Whoa. That's so cool. Spider in there or something? Whoa. Whoa. Oh my god. They keep sending up people like. Ready to go down in history? As what? A Nazi stooge like you. Hitler can have the world, but he can't take it with him. I'm going to be drinking my own health when he's gone. The uh, so he wants to live forever. The Grail is mine. And you're going to get it for me. Shooting me won't get you anywhere. You know something, Dr. Jones? Don't shoot your you're his dad. Right. Don't. Oh. Dad. Dad. Oh my god, now you gotta die. The healing power of the Grail is the only thing that can save your father now. It's time to ask yourself what you believe. Wouldn't use it. The dad wouldn't want to use it. Uh 
Well, if he's dead, then he has, I mean, if he's forces him to, he's... Oh, okay. That Fascinating. Made, that, made, that was cool. Awesome. I'm through! And we thought it was a creature. such a cool effect. Oh, wow. Uh, wow. What an illusion that was. Is it Richard? Is that him? Who are you? The last of three brothers who swore an oath to find... Oh, okay. ...and to guard it. 700 years ago. No time to wait. Oh, he's been drinking the everlasting. Mm. Pass it to you who vanquished me. Time to explain it. Ah! Y'all don't deserve to be in here. Seriously, you he's the one who solved any it. Of it. Yeah, he solved it all. This certainly is the cup of the King of Kings. Good night. See ya. Oh, she definitely did it on purpose. What is happening to me? Mm. Yeah. Come on, drink it, Dad. Whoa. Wow. Ah, oh, I wish. Elsa, don't move. It's ours, Indy. Yours and mine. Elsa, don't cross the seal. The night warned us not to take the grail from here. Whoa. Are you serious? She's so greedy. I can reach it. Uh, the glove's slipping off. Give me your other hand. Idiot. Why? So long, Elsa. I can get it. I can almost reach it, Dad. But then why do you need Indiana. it? Indiana. Let it go. Indiana. I call him Junior. Let it go. Hey, see, I said let it go. I was just making fun because Frozen, but I didn't think that was going to be an actual line. Oh, that's funny. I'll probably get accused of saying of people saying I've seen this movie before, which I have not, but No, because Elsa's clearly Please, Dad. Must be rich, I don't know. You lived a long life. <laughs> Yeah, 700, 600 years. Well, he said he's been drinking it for 700 years, so 700 plus however old he was when he drank it, but yeah. Ready for the... Indy, Henry, follow me! I know the way! Ha! Okay, the name coming from a dog is better than Han Solo coming from going solo. Right. After you, Junior. Yes, sir. Ha! Dun, 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 dun. 
Dun, dun, dun. Nice, very nice. Too bad they didn't make any more after that. Well, I say that because, again, we have not seen the fourth film, yeah. but uh, I've been told by many. I, I know there are some people who like it, but I've been told by many. It's uh, definitely not the greatest film. Right. Okay, that's for sure my favorite Indiana Jones film. I love all three of the films. I really love this one. Really quick, we do have to mention this was the first PG-13 Indiana Jones and actually, um, I'm sure many of you already know this, but I wanted to point this out to Steph. The darkness of the second film with children being used as slave labor and all the other stuff that we got ripping the, of the hearts, that was a PG film because it was such an uproar it inspired Steven Spielberg to tell the MPAA, hey, maybe we should have a PG-13. So if not for Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, we might not ever have a PG-13. So I did like the storyline a lot, but I think the biggest strength of this film stemmed off of the chemistry of Harrison Ford and Sean Connery. I mean, I loved all the interactions between Indiana and his father. They were It was just, you really see the on-screen chemistry between the two and you really gather the history and the rift in their relationship. And I love the way they were working it out with each other and the way they work with each other as well. And to me, that was the biggest strength of the film on top of the awesome storyline that we did get. Of course, the John Williams music and Steven Spielberg's direction, George Lucas's writing, etc. all the locations. But what did you think of the film? It was so great. I really, really loved this movie. I thought this movie handled its supporting cast better than the other films in the franchise. And to your point, I love Indiana Jones and Henry Jones. The dad and him, their chemistry was so good. I thought this was the perfect type of humor with action balance. Yes. And with a villain worth beating. <laughs> like, again, I love that they hit the Nazi note. Like, I'm never going to be mad that Nazis get killed. No. Hell yeah. Me neither. It's such a like easy route for it. And then I like this one, too, because of the. I thought the story I loved loved a little bit more in the sense that the Holy Grail is something most of us have heard of before, right? And so we kind of understand that. It's also something that I think I totally understand on a human level wanting that, you know, wanting this eternal life. So that need for it in different ways adds a little bit more to the uh, what could happen if the wrong person had it. Absolutely. And uh, and then I just, yeah, I just like love the Sala being brought back. I thought that was great. I love Marcus. Marcus. Brody's character yes. being utilized more than in the first 10 minutes of the movie. I just think this was a great accumulation of everything that worked in the first two and then adding to it. Definitely. No, I agree with you. I also, too, even though we didn't get a ton of it, but the flashback at the very beginning of a young Indiana Jones played Such by a late and great River Phoenix. That was a great job of just fleshing out Indiana's character just a little bit more, just seeing what got, garnered the inspiration and the love that he has for historic and just uh, the sense of adventure not, and also where he he got the his his outfit look that he got from seeing uh, these guys who were what they were searching for, and I just thought that was a great like opening scene to the film. I thought that was actually the perfect way to s start us off in this film. But mm -hmm. yeah, no, and again, I loved all the locations we got. Uh, the way the humor was used in this film, I think you put it out. It was just a perfect sense of bounce. Like you got that scene, the one scene I told you that I've seen the, uh, in this film on the blip, uh, where he punches the Nazi at the thing. Everyone's looking at him and says, "No ticket." Just like humorous scenes like that I thought it was again it was just a perfect blend it didn't go like over the top with uh, with its humor but it was just like you said it was a really good blend I know we crap on Willie so much not the actress not the, actress. the character Kate Capshaw I'm sure I mean that's the only thing I've actually only seen her in I'm sure she's a she very was competent a good actress yeah yeah it but the, the, character. the character was just written horrifically and she did all she could I don't like Elsa in any way shape or form I think what she stands for is despicable and disgusting but I liked her character so much better than uh, oh, totally. Willie. <laughs> she like gave you an emotion, right? Yeah, that yeah. was more than just like, get off the screen. Like yeah. you're annoying, you're ruining the story. <laughs> exactly. Elsa was, a. she moved the plot forward Definitely. and she was a vixen and she played to the idea that people lust for things and can kind of get blinded by sex and love. And that's real, right? I think that's a real human flaw that we have. And I think that, that her character displayed that quite well. One of the things I loved about about Temple of Doom was the set design. I thought the set design was one of the best and most creative I've seen. It's so cool and it's so like when you're a kid, like 
your wildest dreams is portrayed on screen in that. I think this one did a very good job of building off of that in a different way. I would say that its contraptions were so cool. Oh, like, yeah. Even from the beginning runaway scene on the boat, like when you see the boat. The propeller. Yeah, the propeller as one of the weapons. And there was just so many uses of weapons like that. The sliding the door thing from the fireplace yes, yes. to the hidden secret room of the Nazis. So cool. And there was just so many things like that where I'm like, damn, what a cool meeting to have been in to be like, okay, what's our first booby trap? What's our second booby trap? Like, so dope. No, I agree with you. I mean, there were also two, a lot of great action sequences from the aerial flight mm -hmm. sequences to the, the chasings. And by the way, the stunt work in this film, for the most part, fantastic. Mm -hmm. I mean, there were some really dangerous stunts. Hats off and praise to the, the stunt team too. I agree with you that, you know, not only on top of the action sequences, but I kind of mentioned it during the reaction. I just love when India is solving things like when they're in the in the library and he's solving no the 10 is right there and they're just trying to puzzle things or he's about to like get his head chopped off and he's like no I need to kneel before God I love seeing moments where India is using his intellect and his wits about him to just solve things definitely I think that's what I get why Indiana Jones is such a beloved character for decades the kids are still being Indiana Jones for Halloween because it's cool like every, most of us when we were our kids like we investigated and we were like out there exploring and he's like the personification of such a great explorer that it's cool watching him use these this deductive reasoning but also his research figure out things along the way it really is a fun use of the character to like be with the character and be like okay what would I have done if I have this 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 where do I go from there it makes it more of like a game viewing as opposed to other action films where you're like it, I don't know, it felt like a player one perspective. Yeah, definitely. I'm not going to lie, I thought the, the guy who, uh, the Panama hat guy, I thought he was possibly going to come back. Remember when we said no body at the beginning off the boat? Oh, yeah, yeah. I know he wasn't a Nazi, but I thought he was going to be part his of that His name? Okay. His Panama hat. His, his name is Fedora oh, oh, in the no. film. Yeah, I was talking about Panama hat Oh, guy. oh, 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 and his name is Panama, Panama hat. hat. Hilarious. Yeah, Spielberg, I love that. Seriously, seriously, yeah. Great, great. Their IMDb is great, literally yeah, that. great great name but um and last thing i just want to mention i, I kind of again mentioned this too while we were reacting obviously there's many films that indiana jones and and the first three films especially laid the groundwork for laid so much inspiration and hollywood just like tried you know doing other films that were inspired by it, of course. But I see so much of Indiana Jones from the music and the set designs and the adventure in the first two Mummy films with Brandon Frazier, especially the score in this specific one. I was hearing so many beats from Mummy Returns. So, I mean, if I ever met Alan Silvestri, and he's one of my favorite composers, I would say, did, did you, did you riffed off, steal a little bit from Indiana Jones and uh, The Last Crusade? Because I literally just, I, my mind kept going to The Mummy Returns uh, with in terms of the music. I could be wrong on that but I just my mind kept taking me there but I love this movie it was a lot of fun the first three films in this I, well, I guess I can't call it a trilogy because there's five about to be five films uh, in this five film series I've loved all three of them again little weak point was Willie for me in the second film other than that the, the three films have been pretty damn flawless for me. Yeah, these are great. I can't wait to see the, to see the fifth one. Yeah, Dial of uh, Dial of the Destiny, I think that's called, right? Yeah, Yeah, I am such a fan of Phoebe Waller-Bridge. Fleabag was one of my fave shows, and it would be cool to see her in a completely different role than that, because if you've watched Fleabag, she's supposed to be like a really unlikable character. It's like classic British humor. So that will be fun. I'm excited for it. This was a great, great watch. I'm so excited that we we got to watch these. Yeah, and really quick, if you guys, I, I don't know if we're going to do Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, but maybe if you want us to, let us know in the comment section. Maybe if we get enough of we want you guys to react, whether we like that film or not, maybe Jabby will consider having us do that. So let us know in the comments if you do want us to react to that one. Otherwise, we'll probably just watch it separately to get ready for the fifth film. So yes, let us know. But thank you for coming along this journey with us. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and vote this up. And punch a Nazi if you see one. <laughs> or something like that. I'm Seth for Sabra. This is Andrew Flash Gordon. Much love.